Nigerian banks are not doing enough for the country's GDP. Well, this is coming from the Minister of State for Finance, Dr. Yeri Mangama. Dr. Ngama told participants at the 6th Annual Banking and Finance Conference of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria that the reluctance of banks to lend to the real sector has caused a decline in their contribution to economic growth. Following the slow pace of tackling the financial crisis in Africa, the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria brought together these banking and financial experts for the purpose of coming out with measures to transform African economies for sustainable growth. The theme of this year's conference, Transformation of African Economy, Financial Services Industry and Catalyst, therefore, is an attempt at capturing the role for the financial services industry in effectively impacting economic development. Sounding a wake-up call to banking institutions, the Minister of State for Finance regretted that contributions of the banking system to the GDP is very low. Today, the contribution of the banking system, that the sector alone, the GDP is just 3.44%. So, contribution to GDP of banking system is going down. The Minister of State for Finance expressed dismay over the reluctance of banks to lend to the real sector and agriculture in spite of government's guarantees, just as he called for a sustainable effort on the part of the CBN to bring down the interest rate. In the banking industry lending to the real sector, the answer is no. The banking industry want to lend to government. However, the governor of CBN said the Apex Bank is not happy about the high rates of agreed loans, but said the issues of access to credit should be treated holistically. The banks are a major part of the economy, but they are not the solution. Government will have to continue doing its bit. We have to continue working. We have to improve power, improve infrastructure, improve the policy environment reduce the bureaucracy, protect the creditors, um, again continue with the good work that has started in finance in reducing overheads and recurrent expenditure, and then we'll get interest rates done. With the conference coming to an end after two days of intense discussions, it is expected that resolutions reached would be considered in developing policies which would improve corporate governance, financing of the real sector and foreign investments inflow. Linda Kibi, Channels Television News.